I don't even know what this is. Okay, so I had this weird epiphany earlier. Should we start with, like, the big thing? I'm writing a novel. Other big things going on. Um, I went for an interview on Sunday, which was not meant to be an interview. It was meant to be just a... I was made aware that it was meant to be just, like, a meeting, a group meeting or whatever, and it was just going to be a welcome thing, and my uniform was already there, and it was all sorted. No, was not prepared for an interview. It was an interview. If anyone has ever known me while I've been going for a job, you know how ridiculously horrible that is. The, the whole experience, the filling out an application form and taking the application form in, and starting the job and meeting- ugh, just, I hate it, I hate it. Like, oh, I've been through, this is the fifth job I've gone for and I still despise it. This is less of a big thing, but today I was feeling really spaced out. Half the reason I'm making this video is because I just need the, a distraction, to be honest. But I've been feeling really, like, spaced out. I'm not really here today. I'm really anxious because I'm obviously waiting to hear back from this interview. And I came- this is- this will make clear why I've said those two big things at the beginning of the video. But let me just explain something else just, like, first, otherwise it's this- this whole- the whole point of this video is just not going to make sense. I've explained on Tumblr how I come about metaphor and how it's it's a really like personal experience for me like it's not just sitting on the spot and being like ooh what what is like this what does this this experience actually feel like it is like physically experiencing things and thinking like oh this relates to that emotion and it normally happens like something will happen to me and then later down the line I'll be like ooh I remember that thing I'll use that because it works so basically Today, like I said, I was feeling really, really spaced out. And I sat down and I was like, you know what, I'm going to write. I watched um, Spirited Away. After that, I thought, you know what, I'm going to sit down and do some writing. And the thing is, I'm at the point where I don't know my characters horrifically well. They're not, you know, incredible. I know exactly what they look like and what their personalities are and how they react to certain. I know them pretty well, but not amazingly well. So everything that I'm writing at the moment is so sort of wishy-washy. It's scenes here and there, like, how to make my main character a cup of tea, and what a specific cemetery in Berlin looks like, and the odd little appearance, odd little interactions, and it hit me that like, you know sometimes you really want to write something specific, but you know you should write something else first, and you have like a physical feeling in your chest of being like, I want to write this scene, I need to write this scene, but I should write the other scenes first. And I realised that was a lot like feeling the weird spaced out feeling I was feeling. I can't believe how many times I just said feeling. What I mean is, it's this weird, impatient, waiting sensation. So I've got this weird sensation of waiting to hear back from a job, and at the same time, next to that, I've got this weird waiting sensation of being excited to write certain scenes in a novel. And I just thought that was so weird and so strange that those two feelings happened to intermingle and I thought that was like the perfect example of how I came up with metaphor. So anyway, moving on, I wanted to say a bit of advice to writers out there that I am now going to take myself is just to get it out your system. Write the scenes that you want to write. You might go back and rewrite them or you might not include them at all. But I think that impatient waiting feeling it doesn't make you rush per se, because it's not made me rush, but it does put a thing in the back of your mind that's just constantly there, like it's telling you, it's like, you want to write this scene, you want to write this scene, like Hannah, you want to write this scene, you want to write this scene, you don't want to write this stupid scene about the city where Katsumi lives, you want to write this specific scene that you're imagining in your head and you've been imagining and dreaming about for weeks, so just write it, get it out your system man, and I think that's true for a lot of things, and this, <laughs> I don't want to say, like, why are you waiting to do something? Just go and do it. Because that is like, oh my god, like, drives me crazy. You know when people say that, they're like, why aren't you travelling? And it's like, <laughs> money. Some things get in the way. Life gets in the way, family gets in the way, and sometimes you just can't do the things that you want to do. So I'm talking within, you know, your personal limitations, like what you can do. If there is a tiny thing that maybe you've been, it's been in the back of your head, but almost maybe that you don't feel like you deserve it, you know, a treat, or something that you can do that will maybe get rid of a little bit of that tiny niggly impatient feeling because I do think it, like, it's physical I don't know about anyone else but I feel that impatience like physically like here in my body and it drives me, it drives me crazy I mean waiting is awful, I hate waiting, I hate having to put things off sometimes you just have to and that's just life and it's sad and horrible but it's just the way the world works.
this took a turn. What I'm getting at is that sometimes you have these weird epiphanies and it's because two things in your life have somehow managed to, to work the same way in your head. And for me, obviously, this has been this weird, impatient, waiting business. And sometimes waiting can be great. Sometimes being patient can be great. Other times, there's just no need. So I don't want anyone to think I'm being like, bruh, you should just, you know, forget all your limitations and just go do the thing because that's not good. I mean, you shouldn't go spending money and going places when you shouldn't be because you just, it's common sense, common sense people. But if there is that tiny little thing that will maybe cheer you up, that you've been looking forward to and you think, oh, I don't deserve it. I should do these other things. Don't, because you're just going to make yourself feel worse. So that's my piece of advice and I just basically wanted to talk at someone for a bit because I've just been like all day, you know? Do you like this cute little flower crown? I got it because I've become obsessed with skincare recently and it keeps my hair up. Also I got a tattoo. How cool is that? It says courage in Elvish. I love it a lot. Anyway, that's it. I don't even know what this video was. <laughs> I don't know. Don't take my advice. Take my advice. Whatever. Honestly, just have fun. Be cool. Don't hurt people. And I'll see you all soon.